This past semester, the administration implemented a new final schedule that gave students the freedom to utilize their mornings in their own ways. While it's clear that most students were pleased with the new schedule, the administration feared that the allowed free time would be used poorly. The concern, of course, is did they use it to the best of their ability? Did enough students use it um, to better themselves and get ready for those finals? Even though many students used their free time to sleep in or go to breakfast with their friends, many students reported having higher final exam grades and credit that to student success time. A study sent to 100 students reported that 65% of students had harder classes and finals than last year, but 59% of students had higher exam averages than years past. They stated that the extra time was super helpful and allowed them to balance their time between catching up on sleep and studying at their own pace. It was really nice. I woke up at around 11 every day, except for one day I went to breakfast, and it was, I felt it really helped me with like my mentality coming into school every day like that. Students felt relaxed thanks to the free time. It allowed them to de-stress before finals, which in turn let them do better on their tests. Teachers also enjoyed the freedom of student success time. Those who chose not to create a scheduled review gave students the opportunity to ask whatever questions they had whenever was most convenient for them, which allowed for conversations with students who wanted to learn and review for their finals. These meaningful conversations aided students with their final grades. I liked being able to have that leeway of like you can get up kind of here or there and kind of plan your morning. Still, some students found issues with the open-endedness of student success time. Without a clear plan for the study time, students were apprehensive to approach their teachers with specific questions. Teachers heard this feedback from their students and are taking it into consideration for second semester. Environmental teacher Jim Walker, who had a structured review time last semester, was told that his structured review sessions were beneficial. Instead of allowing students to come in and ask questions as they pleased, he reviewed specific chapters and concepts on a set schedule during student success time. At the start of second semester, Walker administered a survey to his classes and found that the sessions were exceedingly helpful to those who attended. While he recognizes that a one-size-fits-all review cannot be made, he encourages everyone to learn from this experience and improve upon the study time next semester. We're counting on you guys to make wise decisions on how you're going to spend your time because we want to help you be successful academically, but you have to want that too. While not permanently implemented into our schedules, expect to see student success time again in the spring finals for another trial run. For Studio 415, I'm Megan Holt.